that's what I want to be. I try to make a friend of everybody that I see. Friendly, friendly, that's what I'll always be. And you will make me happy if you just be friends with me. Hey, watch out. Huh? You nearly stepped on me. Uh, who are you? My name is Prince Pippin. Glad to know you. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Why don't you show yourself? A mean old sorcerer took me to the enchanted forest, and he made me invisible. And then he stole my palace. Just follow me, Prince. Okay, Casper. First, we're going to find a way to make you visible again. And then we're going to help you get your kingdom back. Uh, do you think you can? Hello, Casper. Wendy, I want you to meet my friend, Prince Pippin. Hiya, Wendy. But where is he? I I'm right here. A mean old sorcerer made him invisible. Couldn't you undo the spell? Wait here. I've got just the thing for him. Say, what's that aroma? Must be one of Wendy's magic brews. One sip of this should make him visible again. Hurry, hurry. Well, let me have it, Casper. How can I when I can't see you? Oh, look out. You bumped into me. Gosh, I'm sorry. I spilled it all over you. Look, look. The magic brew made me visible. Now we'll see what we can do to get your palace back again. Oh, that's impossible. Huh? Why not? My kingdom lies across the dreadful desert where the sand is too hot to walk on. The sorcerer flew me here over the desert on his magic carpet. Well, we can fly you back again. You mean you have a magic carpet too? No, but I've got a magic broom. Gee, Willikers, I hope this thing is safe. Don't worry. It is. Let's go. Careful now. There's the dreadful desert. We'll have to fly high to beat the heat. Hooray, hooray. I can see my palace from here. Who's that flying around there? It's that mean old sorcerer. It's that pesky prince, and he's got a ghost and a witch to help him. Abracadabra shazaboom. Put an end to that flying broom. <laughs> the end of them. Hang on. I've got you. Thanks, Casper. We're okay now. Come on. I know my way from here. This road leads right to the palace. Better check to see if anyone is moving around outside. Zeke, that dratted prince and his friends are right outside the palace. How will we get in? Luckily, I have the key. Look! All the windows and doors are disappearing! Now we'll never be able to get inside. Don't worry. I'll just take a look around. The doors must show on the inside. Here's one. There you are. Be my guest. So, my magic didn't keep you out after all. No, and you'd better give Prince Pippin back his kingdom. I'll put a stop to you for good. Quick, Wendy, your magic wand. Casper, help! Lizard's tongue and dragon's eye. Huh? Turn that sword into a butterfly. So, you think your magic is a match to mine? <laughs> Abracadabra, zappity snurd, turn that one into an evil bird. That will put an end to your magic. Bark, bark. Help! Help! That bird is after me! Serves him right. We can't let even an evil sorcerer come to harm. Help! 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 Bark, bark. Wait! Listen! You know that's not nice. A ghost! Bark, bark. I'm glad you're not hurt. Thanks to you, Casper. Well, I hope you've learned your lesson, Mr. Sorcerer. Oh, yes. It has taught me it's better to be good than evil. Uh, does that mean you'll give me back my palace? Of course. From now on, I'll use my magic to help you run your kingdom. Wendy, uh, Casper, where are you going? Back to the enchanted forest, Prince Pippin. Uh, but how will Wendy ever cross the dreadful desert without a broom? Uh-oh, that's right. Here, my magic carpet will carry you home safely. Too bad your magic wand is gone, Wendy. Oh, 
I always carry a spare, Casper. <laughs> Is ready, sir. Oh, Peter, did you happen to see my bow pass through here? Reginald, I had enough of your confounded nonsense. It's about time you upheld the family tradition. There's the wild boar your grandfather bagged when he was just fresh out of Oxford. <laughs> and that's the rhino your great-great-grandfather brought down with just one shot. You should bag the cup at the cross country with this car, don't you think? I demand that you leave immediately for Africa to fill your plaque in the trophy room. Oh, very well, Peter. If uh, you insist, Quigby, pack all my hunting gear. We're off to Africa. Your quinine water, Sir Reginald. Oh, thank you, Quigby. I say, sir, wasn't that a lion's roar? Very observant of you, Quigby. Begging your pardon, sir, but it's tea time. Your tea, sir, as you like it, piping hot. Oh, what rotten luck. There's a tea fly in my tea. <laughs> jungle is so frightfully boring. What I wouldn't give for just one hole of golf. I see, sir. A golf course. By Jove. My nibblick, Quigby. I say for... <laughs> You've executed a hole in one, sir. Oh, you might call it that, uh, Quigby. <laughs> oh, we certainly did get our teeth into that shot, didn't we, sir? Quite. From these footprints, I would say we are definitely on the beast's trail. He must be in the vicinity, sir. The footprints have stopped right here. I do believe the beast has sort of turned the tables on us, Quigby. I always say, sir, fight fire with fire. <laughs> Do you think this'll work, sir? You'll make excellent bait, Quigby. I shall bag the beast from behind these bushes. What a revolting development. I say, sir, 
Isn't it rather unsportsmanlike to shoot a defenseless animal? It does seem a pity, Quigby. And I was growing rather fond of the old boy. Uh, but there's the family tradition, uh, you know. Reginald, my boy, I'm proud of you. You finally upheld the family tradition. Yes. Get me out of here! Someone, get me out of here! Oh, I say. And is anyone? says we could outrun catnip. And that goes especially for you, chubby. <laughs> All right, men. One, two, three, four. 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 Chubby, someday your appetite is gonna get you into trouble. It's a your palate, I tease with the imported cheese on my pizza. That's a good pizza. She's my prize pizza pie. That's the best you could buy. Everybody eats on my pizza. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Yeah! 
make a mouse strong soup. <laughs> Oh, Hermanio, I tell you, family in Italia. Italia? That you are the brave to the end. Goodbye, my little Goomba. Excuse, please, un moment. You Goomba from Italia, eh? Si, si. You Goomba too? Ah, sure. Paisanos! My little friends from Italia, we gonna have a one big celebration. <laughs> Just like the Italy dance and sing happily, my paisanos. My paisanos. You eat my pizza pies till it comes out of your eyes, my paisanos. My Crumbly Cogwheel right away. Crumbly Cogwheel? Who's he? Little guy buried in the accounting department. Attention, please. Crumbly Cogwheel, report to the president's office. Crumbly Cogwheel, come out, come out, wherever you are. Report to the president's office. <laughs> So you're Crumbly Cogwheel. Go right in. What are you afraid of? Mr. Blunt isn't going to bite you. Cogwheel, I've been watching you for the past 20 years. <laughs> you didn't know that I've been watching you, eh? You little rascal hiding from me like that. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I know everything about every employee in this company, and one thing puzzles me, Cogwheel. In the 20 years you've been here, you've never asked for a raise. Why? Because you're shy, timid, no guts. Chicken, they call it where I come from. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cogwheel. That's not the kind of a man we want. The man we want is the one who walks in, slams his fist on the table, and demands a raise. And he'll get it! You know, I cogwheel. Because that kind of a man is worth money to Michigan nuts and bolts. So, okay, cogwheel, I want you to ask me for a raise right now. How about that? Uh, I would like. I would, uh, I would, well, I, come on, how much do you I, want, Cogwheel? You name it, I'll give it here. Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. I would. I would. Uh, yeah, Cogwheel, I would, don't yeah, you I would, understand? I want to give you this money. Speak up, man. I would. I would. I would. I. 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 <laughs> Cogwheel, I should fire you right now. But since you've been with us for 20 years, I'll give you just one week to ask for that raise. And if you don't work up enough guts by then, by jingo, I'll fire you. I want a raise. I want a raise. I want a raise. Yes, sir, Mr. Blunt. I want a raise. A raise. That's what I want. Want a raise? Heck, I demand a raise. I demand a raise. Yes, I demand. Do you hear me? I demand that I would. I would. I. 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 Of course, you're unable to ask for a raise because you have no confidence in yourself. Shave off your mustache, wear different clothes, change to a completely different personality. <laughs> Blunt, I'm here for a raise, and you know it. Specifically, I'll take a $50 increase. Okay, the ball's in your court now. Very nice speech. Very nice, really. But I never saw you before in my life. 
I have not the faintest idea who you are. Cogwheel, this is the last day. If you don't ask for that raise before the day is out, you're fired. Too much for us. 